Let's take a look at the ionic charge for zinc, Zn. So when we look at zinc on the periodic table, there's no negative or positive charge after it. That's because zinc, the element zinc, is neutral. The number of protons and electrons, they're equal. It doesn't have a charge. So you could say the charge was zero. On the periodic table, if we find zinc right here, zinc is kind of special. It's in with the transition metals. But unlike most of the transition metals, zinc is always 2 plus. It always forms ions with a 2 plus ionic charge. So if we have zinc, it forms Zn2 plus. And that's because it loses two electrons. So since electrons are negative, Zn loses two electrons, two negative charges, it becomes 2 plus. So this is the zinc ion. You might wonder, where does it lose these two electrons to? In general, it loses them to another element when it forms a bond. So you have zinc Zn here, and it loses two electrons. It's 2 plus, and it'll lose it to something like chlorine, Cl. Chlorine forms ions that are 1 minus. Chlorine gains one electron to form the chloride ion. So we have our 1 minus here, and we'll need to have two of these, 2 times 1 minus, that balances out the 2 plus. So we have zinc chloride, ZnCl2. So zinc will lose electrons. It's a metal. It'll lose electrons to form the zinc ion, Zn2 plus. Do note we're talking about ionic charge here. That's the charge when elements form ions, which is different than oxidation number, although they really do overlap quite a lot. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.